in today's session of Divorce Court. Levi and Teresa say it was love at first sight, and after two days, they moved in together. But after three years of marriage, he says he can't take another minute of her temper. She would break things. She's broken windows out of my cars. He cheated on me and got two strippers pregnant. What type of car is this? It used to be a BMW. <laughs> but she says he drove her to violence with his constant cheating. One time, I do admit that he had a car that I destroyed. And you just say that so nicely, like it's no big deal. He went behind my back and had three other kids. In two and a half years of marriage, you have fathered four other children? Now, Teresa Kennedy and Levi Kennedy come before the judge in today's session of Divorce Court. session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Levi Kennedy versus Teresa Kennedy. I understand that within 48 hours, you were in love with Mrs. Kennedy and head over heels, and now you've gone downhill since. What's going on? Uh, that's true, Your Honor. When I first met my wife, Teresa, I knew at the first mm -hmm. sight that I wanted to marry her. What did you think you knew about her in 48 hours? The only thing I knew that she was beautiful and that she made me feel special. Within a short period of time that we knew each other, I just knew I wanted to be with her. I couldn't have been that beautiful, Your Honor. He cheated on me and got two strippers pregnant. Two strippers pregnant? Your yes, Honor, two strippers Your Honor, pregnant that... while we was together. Your well, Honor... maybe the beauty left real quick. <laughs> just as quick as the love came in 48 hours, the beauty left in 48 hours. Is that it? Your Honor, the truth of the matter is, Teresa, he... During the course of the marriage, I found out that I did have someone else pregnant, but that was before you I found married her. out. Your Honor, he's lying. He got he had got this preg this stripper pregnant when we was together. Well, you said two strippers. Two. Your Honor. Every time we got back together, he told me he led me to believe that we was going to work it out, that we was going to be this one happy Your big Honor. family. Okay, wait a minute. Stop. Take me through this. Two strippers. Every time we got back together, he led me to believe. I haven't gotten past the first 48 hours, and you all gone all the way down. <laughs> so after this bliss that you were just so in love with her, the romance, the papers say you moved in together within 48 hours. He didn't live to his vows. Yeah, yes, you don't Your know Honor. the meaning of vows anyway. The first day I met her, Your Honor, I met her. She was walking down the street. I pulled over, stopped to talk yeah. to her. Like I, he do I asked her else. to go out. We went out. She asked me to marry her at the your park. Your Honor, he's the a very lie. Next he's day. a lie. On the second date? He, no, Your Honor, he's a lie. You asked him to marry you? She your asked Honor, me to marry her. <laughs> we went for a walk at the park. She said, say I've never met someone so lie. special. She asked me to marry her. We, what we did lived he together. have that was so exciting within 48 hours? Your Honor, I did not ask him. I thought he was a nice guy. You know, he treated me nice. He paid for the date and everything. But after that... Oh, and other guys didn't pay for the date? No, they paid for the date. Well, um, Your no, Honor, we dated it, seven months. We dated seven months before we got married. We got no, I'm married. I'm not talking in the about the marriage. He said that he picked you up, riding down the street. Yeah, because I was. And I, you got in the car with the a stranger. The bus wasn't running. It was she asked late. For my you know. License, I asked him if he a serial killer or anything. What? I didn't know. You know, he could have been a killer, but he offered to give me a ride. He seen me walking down the street. He turned the car. He whipped the you in the middle of the street. And you, know? you got into the car with a stranger, no. went to his house, went out with him, went to his house, and spent the night? You're right, he could have been a serial killer. You asked him and he said no? Well, Your Honor, we've been together right after... Your Honor, right after... Wait a minute, after... is that what you said? I asked him, was he a serial killer? I'm not Your being Honor. funny, I'm serious. Your Honor, it wasn't like that, Your Honor. We met, we dated seven months. I stayed with him, I Ms. do Kennedy, admit... get me past the first day. Just answer my question. You met a stranger. Driving down the street, stopped the car, turned around and hooked you, you said. Yeah, he... Asked you out. Mm -hmm. You went out with him. Yeah. You went to his house. Yes, I you did. You spent the night. Yeah, I was locked out. Total stranger. I was locked out, y'all. I didn't have nowhere. My keys was in the house. I Where were your parents? Over. My parents were asleep at the time. And you couldn't go to their house and wake them up? No, I had them to go around to the corner and knock on the window, and he said that no one answered, so I had nowhere to go, so I went, you know, stayed at his house. And I slept. We did not sleep together, <coughs> Your Honor, when we first that met. That was real risky. But you asked him if he was a serial killer, and he said no, right? Yeah, he said... <laughs> he showed me his ID and everything. He showed me his ID and everything, and I trust him. 
Mrs. Kennedy, you're blessed that nothing happened to you. Yeah, and the man right. didn't do anything to you. Yeah. But that was a real risky venture. Yeah. I would advise you not to do that again in the future. Right. Think before you do that. Mm -hmm. that you take a big risk when you do that. It, yeah. it, you don't know a stranger. He looks nice, but most killers do. Well, I could have been, I could have been a killer stranger either. He let, he let me in this car just same as thing. well. He I'm picked about, me I'm up off the street. He don't thing. know, you know, who I am or where I came from. You I'm know, about he to tell me him up the, off the And I'm about to tell and him. He the, had no problem. He whipped you, ran over there. And, and I'm just, about to tell him the same thing. That just because he's a man, women know how to kill and stab and rob right, as well. Right. That's true. And that wasn't very wise to take a stranger into your home. It could have been a setup. Right, Yon. I guess I was yeah. thinking more of my hormones instead of that's my That's exactly yeah, what that's was happening. Your hormones was working overtime. That's a, mm -hmm. His hormones ho working overtime. Just... His hormones what got him these six kids that he had since, you know, me and him been together. You know, when six I met him, children? he had two kids. When I met him, Yon, he had two kids. He went behind my back and had three other kids. In Four two and a half kids. years yeah. of marriage. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he, he did. He has given birth. You have fathered four other children? Your the Honor, other we was. He's alive. All right, all right. I got to get some order here. She would take out her rage in, in any kind of way. She would break things. She's broken windows out uh, of my car. Your Honor, he's lying. She, he's telling What I asked you to do? She, she's she's con uh, consistently uh, thrown things. I just couldn't take it no more. The last time we were together, she broke a, a, a window out of my car. I ended the relationship. I told her I would take care of the child when it was born, but I didn't want anything to do with her. I started seeing someone else. All right, now let's stop. Hold it. Pick up. Your what honor, did he say? Your Honor, he's a lie. He's... So five months into the marriage, you're pregnant. Yeah. Into the relationship. I don't know if you're married yet or not. You married or not? Yes, no. we're... No, not at that time when she was pregnant. No, Your we Honor, weren't married. Your Honor, I thought... Were you married or unmarried by the time you got pregnant? No, we wasn't married. Okay, so five months into it and you're pregnant, and he's saying mm -hmm. you're cutting him with a razor and breaking windows and throwing things. Your Honor, that while I was pregnant, he cheated on me. I was, you know, I was upset. I was stressed Who out. Who did I cheat with? All right, your turn to keep your mouth closed. Your Honor, he, he was cheating. He was still with me. If he say... Your Honor, he's, he's telling a lie. Tell me about the razors and, and breaking things and Your throwing Honor, things. I did not break his window, I swear. I did what not did break you do? his window. Your Honor, I, one time I do admit that he had a car that I destroyed, but that was only... <laughs> and you just say that so nicely, like it's no big deal. No. One, one time I do admit I had a, he had a car that I destroyed. But Your what Honor, did you do, a... Mrs. Kennedy? Someone ran me off the road. They ran me she off the road. didn't have a driver's license. Wait a minute. What did you do in terms of a car that you destroyed of his? What did you do? Your Honor, I, um... Come on with it. <laughs> what did you do? She stole the car, Your Honor, is what she did. In the Your middle Honor, of the night while I was asleep, I wrapped it around the pole, car. completely totaled the car. Your Honor, I have a picture stole of the car. Stole the car and totaled it? This is oh. a picture of, of the car that she destroyed. Your Let Honor. me see. This is after you stop, cop. You, Your Honor, just say something more than that. <laughs> <laughs> what type of car is this? So it, used to be a, it used to be a BMW. <laughs> so she destroyed this BMW? Your Honor, yeah. Wrapped around a pole when you were angry? Is yes. that what you did? Yes, because he had got one of the strippers pregnant. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to. So you, you know, almost killed yourself in the no, BMW? I, no, I was going to leave him. That's when I decided to leave him and depart from. Your Honor, none of this she's. But how did you end up tearing up this car? Because uh, I, a car hit me from behind. So it wasn't delivery? No, it wasn't. It was an accident. It was an accident. Your Honor, really it was, was no one else there. Was she was the only Your one Honor. out there. I had witnesses that saw her tear Your the car. Your Honor, it was an accident. I had she got a police report. She deliberately ran the car into the pole. Your Honor, I got a police report. It was an accident, you know. Well, you and deliberately ran in the car into the pole. You could have hurt yourself. You didn't do yeah. that, did you? Yeah, I did. And I was under stress. I was. Oh, so now thing... you know what you... Be quiet. You know what you just did? You just admitted that you deliberately ran the car into the pole. Got you. <laughs> When Divorce Court returns, Levi's witness testifies about Teresa's violent temper. She's really nice, but don't get her mad. Don't get her mad. Don't get her mad. <laughs> That's why my nose is crooked today, Your Honor. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com.
Divorce court is back in the case of Teresa Kennedy versus Levi Kennedy, as Teresa's witness testifies about Levi's cheating ways. This gentleman is your witness? Yes. Mrs. Kennedy? He was there on the tape. That he, he, he claimed that we wasn't together okay. when we was married. All right, come, come forward, The bachelor's sir. party. What's your name? Andre Thompson. Now, what do you have to add to this interesting story, Mr. Thompson? It disappeared into one of the rooms at the bash party with one of the strippers, yeah. so I don't know. The only know. reason yes, you're on the tape, Your Honor, I, don't I know. We're not to speaking. Say... I told you, you're not speaking. You're right. So I don't know. If you open... Hold on. Oh, okay. If you open your mouth again, Mr. Kennedy, when someone else is talking, I don't care who it is. Now, I've had enough. That's me. Whoever, whichever one of you does that, you're out of here. So you're trying to let me know that this is the kind of life he was living while he was married to yeah. Mrs. Cannon. Right. All right, thank you, it's Mr. Thompson. Right, I don't think it comes as any surprise, though. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> I mean, yeah. you didn't have to come up here and tell me that. If he meets somebody in 48 hours, he's already married. He takes her to his house the same night he meets her. The next time, you, then you know they're moving in together. He goes out and has an affair with another woman. He has four children. So, am I surprised that he was out at a bachelor party having fun? Huh. At no, least why he was married to me. Hmm. It shouldn't surprise you either. No, it doesn't. Now, you have a witness. What your witness want to say? Well, she just wanted to elaborate that she's seen her on numerous occasions with a guy that I found pictures of her. Oh, so I this is the tip of time. Come Honor. on, come on up I here. I used to model, no, Your No, be Honor. quiet. Let her tell me what she has to say. Your Honor. This is the tit for tat story. What's your name, ma'am? And Miss Robinson, what would you like to tell me? Well, um, I went to a club one night and I seen her all hugged up and kissing on a guy. And she didn't see me at first, but I stirred for a while and she saw me. She kind of backed away. How do you know Mrs. Kennedy? I've known them for about Your Honor, for a while. That was... Didn't I say be quiet? I was friends with both both of them. I met them through a um, party through another um so another friend, friend of both of them is so now you on you came to testify on mr kennedy's behalf that she was outside out having affairs with somebody else yeah. was this during the separation or were they this living together the marriage were they living together or separated yes but they would um every time they would get into it she would get upset throw things and just get very upset so you verify she's that she's a pretty violent person. Yes. She's really nice, but don't get her mad. Don't get her mad. Don't get her mad. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Oh, God. Thank you for the warning. You may sit there. Thank you. I'll make sure I don't get you mad, because I don't want you throwing anything at me. Is there anything near you? That's why my nose... <laughs> that's why my nose is crooked today, Joe, Your Honor. pay close attention. I'm going to try not to make her mad. She broke my nose. This little lady broke your nose? Broke my nose. That's how violent she can get. Your With Honor. what? She picked up one of our child's toys and got mad and swung it. And, and Only after self-defense. Perfect, perfect shot. Broke my nose. Defending myself. He has a bad temper. He's working. Defending yourself. Yes, because From he attacked me. He tried to attack me. After arguing, he tried to choke me and grab me. So I took a toy and I swung it at him. I'm mean, I didn't not actually mean to hurt him. Your Honor, you're being very unfair. Thank you. 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 Both of you, it's not funny. Both of you are minimizing that. You're minimizing conduct. He walk, if it's self-defense, then why is he walking into the toy? Self-defense means I swung Mrs. It, Kennedy, Your Honor, I stop. Swung it. Listen to me. And he's... You just told, you, to, you just talked too much again. Self-defense means, yes, I hit him, but I was defending myself. Yeah. On the one hand, you say self-defense. But I didn't mean to break his nose. That's but if I'm you're saying. defending yourself, you mean to do whatever you need to do to get him out of your that... face. You know, domestic violence, that's what I was saying to you. See, Your the Honor, night you took her home and you didn't know anything about it? Boy, I She could have struck out then with that raise right. and cut your throat. You're absolutely right. It's obvious this marriage is over. Shouldn't have never begun. It was over from the beginning. Your Honor, I got something I say. He left me with nothing, Your Honor. And what do you want from me? I want a car. I want one of his cars. You I want think one I of his cars? I want his car so that me and my child can get along. We have a child together. Well, how many it's cars does he have? He has a limo. <laughs> he has a Mercedes Benz and a Jag. I used to have a BMW. A limo, a Mercedes she... Benz, and a Jag? I think yes. she took one of my cars already, Your Honor. I think Your I've never been talking to you. Your Honor, I have him pay for half of those what cars. What kind of work we do was... you do? I'm an independent contractor. I drive trucks. Contracting what? I drive trucks. You bought all these in this two and a half and years we of marriage? we were together, and we was together, and no, I have them Yana, pay for... Some of the cars were, were bought 
during the time of merge, the Jaguar, the car that she claimed she wants, I bought that when I met her. Now, no, here we go honor, again, your honor, honor, your honor. He's talking. Be quiet. He's lying. He's sitting up okay. here lying. I bought the car before well, we I will got give married. You, be quiet. How are you going to buy the Mrs. car? Mrs. Kennedy. When I met him, he has nothing. He didn't have a car. Then he was driving his grandfather's car, you know? Can he finish saying what he wants to say? The Jaguar is the only okay. car that I had when we were together, but we weren't married. The Jaguar this was before marriage. And I don't feel that she should get anything because she total loss a car of mine. I gave her Your money Honor, to buy I a car. I, I gave her money okay, to Mrs. buy. Mrs. Kennedy, bye. I gave her money. Bye. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. Don't you do that. Don't you gloat on me. And an update on the case of Tina Green versus Brian Green. He's been totally obsessed with me. It's become outrageous. I can't go to the bathroom. I can't talk on the phone. Divorce court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Levi Kennedy, who says he realized his wife Teresa's temper was too much to handle after she destroyed his BMW. Bring it back in for the ruling. Hey, right now. Unless she asks you to talk. Yeah. Oh, God. Mrs. Kennedy, you're here for the ruling only not to say anything. You lost your opportunity to talk to me when you didn't listen to me. According to Mr. Um, Kennedy, the Jaguar was bought before the marriage. The limousine in the Mercedes Benz was bought after the marriage. And all you want is a car. Yes. Court awards the Mercedes Benz to Mrs. Kennedy. Where is it? It's at my house. Are you trying to dance on me? No. <laughs> Don't you do that. Somebody out there understands because the ink hasn't dried. I haven't even written the judgment yet. Don't you gloat on me. This is not a contest. This is a court of law, and I'm awarding the car because according to him, the Jaguar was, he owned it before he married you. And if you lied to me, too bad now. Give it a Mercedes. Within the same 48 hours that you picked her up, yeah. give her the Mercedes. <laughs> That's the order of the court. Court's adjourned. All rise. <laughs> Parties may leave the courtroom. When divorce court returns, an update on the case of Tina Green versus Brian Green. What should I do to make this marriage work? I need you to say this marriage is over and accept it. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in Divorce Court. Tina Green said her husband Brian's obsessive love for her ruined their marriage. He's been totally obsessed with me. It's become outrageous. I can't go to the bathroom. I can't talk on the phone. If I roll over and I don't look at him while I'm sleeping, what? he has a fit. It's not that deep, is it, Mr. Green? Yes, it is. Brian brought Tina to court to get back her wedding ring and money to replace his clothes that she destroyed. But once he got to court, he begged Tina not to go through with a divorce. I've been telling him that I don't love him anymore, but, but he tells me I do love him. What should I do? to make this marriage work. I need you to say this marriage is over and accept it. The judge ruled that Tina should repay Brian for the clothes, but she could keep the rings. After court, Brian and Tina met with a counselor, where Brian broke down and cried for the first time since Tina left him. Tina says she looks forward to moving on with her life and hopes Brian can find happiness with someone else. Well, at least I do have a Mercedes Benz now. But anyway, you know, he had all these kids on me. So, you know, the best thing for us, we can still be friends. I honestly don't feel she deserved anything. He had these six kids on me and tried to make me look like the bad one. I'm really not a bad person. I'm a pretty good person, a pretty nice person. Well, Teresa, you know you got in court and you lied, and the judge saw it your way, so you came out on top. 
I'm through with it. 